If you're self-employed or a small business owner, sometimes buying a house is hard. If this speaks to you, check this video out. So being self-employed or a small business owner is already hard. Everything is resting on your shoulders. You're responsible for everything. Not only that, the tax code that's been given to us is, hey, earn everything that you can, as much as you can, and then write as much of that off as you can every year. Talk to your CPA. They're, they're probably advising you to write stuff off to kind of adjust that, what that tax bill looks like. While that seems to make a ton of sense, at the end of the year, you may have earned a ton of money, but you show you earned like, I don't know, $1,000 a month hard to get qualified for a house when you earn a thousand dollars a month on paper. If this sounds like a situation that you're in right now or been in before, what might make the most sense for you is looking at a bank statement loan. Where that's different is as a, as a mortgage lender, we would typically look at your income and we're going to look at your last two years taxes and we're going to average those out to see, hey, what do you earn on an average year? What does that look like? But at the end of the year, if you're writing all off all of those items that you've been able to write off, the problem is you're not left with much. So what we can do with a bank statement loan is to look at the deposits that go into your bank account over a certain period of time and average those out and get an idea or a real sense of what kind of money you actually make. There's several banks that we have a relationship with that we've aligned ourselves with that allow us to do that and help you move through this process. So if you've run into this challenge before, if you know somebody that's run into this challenge before, we'd love to help point you in the right direction.